Oh man, where to start? The latest patch, the 1.3.0, supposedly fixed many many issues the game had and people reported. But I ain't going to lie, my experience and the experience I've seen from many others since this latest patch is a real real bad one. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video hitting that like button really helps out and if you do like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the version 1.3.0 patch was utterly massive. Someone said over 1000 fixes. I mean Jesus, 1000 fixes. Now let me just tell you where I stand on this game before you think this is just another bandwagon rant video. I actually love this game, I love the Avengers, I see it has promise and for the most part the bugs or issues I experienced were not that bad of an issue. For sure some of the issues I'd seen other people mention, they were far worse than anything I had experienced. Now I don't want to go on forever explaining the many issues it seems this latest patch has caused, but what it seems they want for us is to boycott the game. The major issues we have with this game, the ones we wanted fixing ASAP, they were left out of this patch, but instead they seemingly nerfed our substitute methods in farming due to missions being either unplayable or just completely bugged. I mean for sure, 22 challenge points are a nice touch, but they do not make up for the modules many of us have missed out on due to bugged villain sectors, which people for the most part are still bugged. This is something a major thing we wanted fixing and really should have been sorted by now. And yet with 1000 fixes with this latest patch, this wasn't one of them. The elite heroic hives are bugged still. Many people are playing up to the last few floors where enemies then stop spawning and reloading checkpoints do not fix this issue. The mega hives are a nice touch, but even these are crazily broken. People are reporting exotics dropping from here, yet the exotics I've only seen people mention and showcase that they have received from here are extremely below par exotics. So what happened within the latest patch where they said exotics have higher stat rolls? To me it's like, oh look an exotic, it's only cool because it's red. Yet we are expected to refarm all the resources to upgrade it over again? Where for the most part the resources needed to upgrade such come from places which either don't reward, as intended or have been stealth patched out of the game because they don't want us earning fast resources as it takes away the longevity expected. Now here's my problem, yes using cheap methods to farm certain things for the most part I can understand if said farm for example are crazy broke that they do remove them, I understand fixing such. But limiting mission chests for the most part taking away resources and gear needed to upgrade is a dodgy move and it doesn't end there. That's just one example. What I'm seriously hoping is Square Enix are seeing what's happening and revert many of the new changes, because for the most part it seems to be heading into that spiral of video game patches making the game worse and worse. Now a quick example of what seems to be their stance right now with these patches, Miss Marvel's Imbigan, being staggered within this Imbigan literally every 2 seconds by enemies who couldn't fart without blowing her insides out, yet the immunity effects when Imbigan stated stagger so she was immune to be staggered, yet it's all that seemed to be happening with her. So what did they do to fix said staggering? Did they somehow fix this issue? Yes they fixed the issue alright, they removed stagger from her immunity effects while in Big End. Quite literally guys, they removed the text, maybe hoping people wouldn't have noticed it there, or will go on to forget about it, or come with the excuse she shouldn't be immune to it and never should have been while within that in bigger mode. Now I mean I ain't no dev, I don't know the ins and outs and it does seem to me this stagger feature is hard coded somewhere and is real difficult to remove, but what happened with this to me in my opinion is a little sneaky. Now I hate to say this, but it does seem to me like this game is heading that same route Anthem went, which I do not want to see. The dev slowly taking away what we play games like this for, even if that means running the same mission over and over and over to get that loot. Isn't that what this game is all about? No? Well shit, I'm playing her own game. Now to sum this patch up and the issue it's having on thousands, I mean Reddit's main page, check it out. It's gone from people actually posting things showcasing enjoyment the game was bringing them to literally posts of everyone complaining about the game in its current state post patch, which is a true shame. Now the game's in its early days still, but it hasn't gotten off to the best start. 
And to be honest, what we are seeing here is like a trend I've seen over the past 10 years. Games being released clearly not ready, only for a year or two years later for things to be finally sorted. This game had what like 5 years of development? Where did that go? And the thing about this trend with games being released unready. Some game developers do get away with it, as the base game is decent enough to keep players coming back. The core of certain games has the element of you wanting to keep playing, even though the fundamentals were not ready. Destiny 1 is a prime example. The only problem with Avengers is, I don't feel its core is good enough. I mean even if it was, it's to a point of people now mostly being fed up with the same shit over and over these games keep bringing. Now don't get it twisted people, I haven't given up hope yet, I still think this game will come good. It's just Square Enix need to sort out those very core issues before dropping thousands of fixes via a patch which in turn break the game more so than pre-patch. But yeah guys, I'm done, rant over. Please Square Enix, don't allow this game to turn into just another anthem. It's better than that, it should be better than that, and hopefully it will be. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like truly helps out. Let me know what you think about the game now, let me know any issues you are having, and let me know how it's looking going forward, in your opinion. And people, again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.